All right, number nine. In understanding the likely success of a small commercial strip, um, strip mall project, which of the following should be considered? A, catchment area, B, amenity study, C, easement review, D, zoning review. Um, well, for any project, I'm gonna wanna know about the easements. Easements are kind of like zoning restrictions, but uh, they are um, not from a government entity. They are things that follow the deed. So they're maybe, uh, you know, a utility line goes through or something like that. And if some contract was made in order to let that utility line go through, and that contract rides with the deed so that if I sell the land, the person who buys the land from me also has to uh, live up to the easement contract. So easements are important, but they don't really have anything to do with the success of a, of a strip mall. Um, zoning review, well, clearly uh, any project is only gonna be successful if you have done a reasonable zoning review. But that's not really like what the question is getting at. Really, it comes down to A or B, amenity study and catchment area. Amenity study would be something like, uh, all right, you're doing uh, housing in a specific city, in a specific neighborhood, uh, and uh, or a specific, maybe a suburb, how about? Uh, should you be designing pools for that housing? Like, does everybody expect that they should be able to get a pool? Um, that would be an amenity that would be you would have gone through and studied like what do people expect? What's the market like? Does the market support? Uh, so amenity studies are about these kind of things that have to do with market studies and amenity levels and might be about condos or it could even be about strip malls and things in terms of parking or something. But it's not the big question that you would be uh, wondering about. The answer is going to be A, catchment area. And catchment actually comes from a water term. So if you think of a catch basin, uh, the water that goes to a catch basin is the catchment for that catch basin. So it's a big area that drains towards something. So if you're talking about like in a parking lot, you might have a catchment that captures all the water into one specific uh, catch basin. If you're talking about uh, New York City, then the Catskill Mountains are the catchment area for uh, the water that they collect and then use to um, uh, have potable water in the city. Um, so the word catchment can be used in lots of different ways uh, in terms of water, but then it somewhere along the way it got usurped and used for um, kind of highest and best use and kind of figuring out uh, what makes sense for different projects. So the catchment would be for the strip mall, who would be going to this? Who would, who would want to go to this, this strip mall? Is there a market there of people who would, who would get to that, does it, does it make sense? Is it, gonna, is it likely to be a success? So the easiest way to think about this is like a corner store. For those of you who live in a city, think about uh, how many blocks would you walk to go to a corner store? You know, maybe two blocks, three blocks, something like that. Eh, maybe you like walking four, four or five blocks. Uh, but by the time you get to five, six, eight blocks, you're not gonna go to a corner store. You're gonna go to a full-fledged grocery store because really why would you pay the extra amount and you know, walk that far if you can, you know, by the time you're going to a certain distance, you're just gonna go to a different thing, right? So there's a pretty limited catchment for that corner store, right? Uh, and so it becomes very important to understand, well, how many people live in that place? So hopefully that makes sense.